guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show with you guys how to make the best salsa roja so in case you guys want to learn how to make this super easy and delicious salsa just stay tuned and I'll show you how alrighty guys so let's get started with our ingredients so for this recipe we're going to need two large tomatoes one fourth of an onion two garlic cloves ten chile de arbol three tablespoons of oil one fourth of a teaspoon of oregano salt and pepper so these are ingredients now let's get started Alright, so first you want to make sure that you wash and dry your tomatoes, onion, and chile de arbol. So once you have that, we're going to cut our tomato into small pieces. Alright, so once you have your tomatoes all nicely cut, we're going to separate our onion. So just separate like that. Once we have everything ready, we are ready to fry it. In my frying pan, I'm going to set it on medium-low heat and I'm going to add about two tablespoons of our oil. Okay. So once that heats up, we're going to start to add our tomatoes. All right, so once our oil is hot, we're going to place our tomatoes facing down like that. And we're going to fry them for about one minute. All right, so after the minute, we're going to flip them to the other side and fry them for another minute. Okay, so after the minute, we're going to add our onion and our garlic cloves. Now, if you wanna skip the frying process, you can always do that and just boil your tomatoes and everything together, but you're going to get a different taste. And the salsa for, that we're going for requires you to fry the tomatoes and everything together. All right, so once you see that your tomatoes begin to soften, we're going to remove them and start placing them on our blender cup. So that's how you're gonna know that they have softened. They begin to change color. All right, so once your onions become translucent, we're going to remove them and put them in your blender cup as well. So now I'm just going to add the remaining oil. And we're going to fry our chile de arbol. Now you want to be careful with your chile de arbol, you don't want to overcook them, otherwise they're going to be bitter. So it's going to just take a few seconds. Okay, so once our chiles are done, we're going to place them in our blender cup as well, along with the garlic cloves. So just make sure that you get everything from your frying pan. So now we are ready to blend. All right, so the black pepper, this all is going to be to your liking. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and our one fourth teaspoon of oregano. So now we're just going to blend it all together until we have our smooth salsa. Okay, so once everything is nice and smooth, we are ready to transfer into our bowl. Okay, look at the beautiful color. That's the oil. And of course, you want to wait for it to cool down a little bit before you start eating it. But let me tell you, this is spicy and so delicious. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. I'm going to make a trip. It's still a little hot. It's perfect every time. This salsa is spicy, so if you don't want it to be spicy, just, you know, um, add less chile de arbol. But this is definitely my favorite salsa for my tacos. It's just the best. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how to make a delicious salsa roja. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this salsa, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Eres perfecta mujer. De la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas, mami.
Más simétrica que un origami De la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami